right. Well, let's go and organize our fleets. So, what should we organize our fleets about? Well, what I like to do is I like to put everything that is possible into the same fleet. Can't swap the cent not the centerpiece, we can't swap the mini ship lines. But we can get something in here to swap them with. So I still think we should be getting a sniper fleet at the start. Which centerpiece would be most useful as a sniper fleet? Certainly not the Lost Spire Frigate, because that's more a close range ship. The Raijin Golem as well, so I'm thinking the transport should get these sniper ships. So I also think which of these is most useful. Oh, we can swap it against another ship, so we don't even need the support here. I think the Wild Control Cruiser is the best. Because we want enemies not to get to our sniper ships. Then, of course, we are picking all the infinite range ships. Mine layers, I think, are very worth it to stop enemies from approaching as well. And I believe that's about it. Keep some cog control for the other fleets. Now, this, this is mostly against strikecraft as well as this. This is most certainly our more, our more powerful centerpiece in terms of raw power. As you can see, up to a million DPS. Whereas this has only 340,000 DPS. So we should make this our heavy hitter fleet. What would we focus this on? Hmm. Hmm. Let us think a bit. I suppose we should make one fleet against Strikecraft and one fleet against Heavies. I think that the... I think that the fleet against Strikecraft should be the Lost Spire Frigate. And this should be the fleet against Heavies. So we will be taking the Gunbots and the Nuclear Felix. And the cloak virus shredders can go anywhere. The parasite hydras I want in this fleet as well, and some tanky stuff, and then some crawl control as well. And oh yeah, before I forget, the great servos. Yes, great servos. And then everything else is in this fleet: the scythe wards and the nuclear destroyers, which uh, they spread damage, so they are still very viable against strikecraft, even though not as viable. Then the obstructor wings for crowd control and doing good damage, concussive, and the virus shredders, and the shrikes, and a bunch of other things, yeah. I think this is a good organization, so now let's rename this and regroup it. This is going to be, to be the... what should we call this? Let me think, how did I label fleets back in the day? We're going for T for Terran because it's human fleets, mostly. Terran primary attack. Then we're going for this. T dash. What should we call it? Called SA. Secondary attack. More against Strikecraft. And this is going to be G-SS or Heron Up Hooters. And then we have our forces organized once more. Oh yeah, and you be free, please. One, two, three. And it is time to take on the miner. We are basically just a bit late. I want my snipers back here and unloaded. Yeah, the chromatic horror kinda disrupted our plans. Two can also head here and one as well. All right. Uh, by the way, we could still hack this probe and reroute it or do something else, but nah. I want to fight the miner. 
Here it is. This is the miner. I don't think it is going to last a long time. Even though it has quite a bit of firepower. Our snipers are working on it. Two, unload and target this. Everybody Three, go here. Unload. Oh, hold on. Three, just target this. One, go here. Unload and target. Also, if we manage to beat it, we get a handy 300 science and 20 hacking points. Also, we are pushing it. How are we? Oh, yeah, the force field is pushing it. The force field is. Which is also protecting a lot of our ships, so we are making very quick work of this thing. A lot quicker work than I would have expected. But I'm not saying anything against that. Alright. One, two, three, load up. And as a reward as well, we are getting the wreckage, which produces a good amount of metal. Makes sense. Makes sense. Absolutely. So now that we've dealt with this, I think it is time to strike out further and go for these planets down here. One, two, and three. Or should we diversify our attack angles? I don't think there's much for us to do down here. But we still would want to get the Nidorian, Nodorian tour, right? I'm not sure why I'm calling that Nidorian. Makes no sense. We have the attack power. 200, 200, 100, well, 235, 230, 139. A total fleet strength of what is this? 605. That's amazing. 605 fleet strength. And we're not even at full strength, though. There's probably, yeah, there's only tugboat drones missing. They're not going to do much. Maybe it'll, it'll take over to 606, but that's not going to do much. Do we need something tech-wise? I don't think so. Though I'm feeling like going for a more expatriate tech might be worth it. Upgrading our shield. And then going down here and picking the encircling spiders. We can always pick the ravager bots as well, but we're not really going into disruptive. Then again, we're also not going into subterfuge. Ravager bots don't boost anything, but they are very powerful. If you want something dead, this is how you do it. I should probably talk a bit about this. The encircling spiders are just spiders with the FRS fleet bonus. The Ravager bots, they fire part of themselves as a projectile. So they damage themselves with each shot. They are already doing half of their own hull damage. But the lower their hull, the more extra damage they do. And they do a lot of damage. They are another type of uh, effectively metal cannon. Like rail pots. Or like rams. So, what should we do next? I think next is going through here with one of our fleets. Which fleet is best suited to the, do this? We have the Tef Reader. Definitely need to get rid of that. And we have an orbital mass driver, so we shouldn't take too many frigates. Though I suppose we can always have our Raijin go and take care of these things because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's strong enough. It should have the health to just punch through the enemy. So if I send the right in here, make it go for this, and unload, then target the Tefrida and the mass driver, that should be a good queue of orders. It's two and three can go to Strela, down here, and start unloading, and I'll decide what I'll do with those later. We are low on metal, but we are regenerating now. So, anything else? Oh, a new journal entry. Two, actually. Zenith Miner has arrived. Commander, we've detected a truly immense Zenith Golem. It seems to be able to affect the planet itself. We've never seen anything like this happen before. It looks like this might be capable of this... Uh, of destroying a plant entirely, including everything on it. Even flagships will be permanently destroyed if on the planet. Good thing we didn't give it a chance. 
to be precise, we had so many forces there was no chance. Probably even if we didn't move in our fleets, this would have solved itself. The migrants, the chamber. Commander, for a while now, one of the migrant lines will have made have made itself at home on one of our planets, even assisting in some small-scale fighting. However, it it appears to have opened another wormhole to leave this galaxy and has already made its way through. Before it left, however, two things of great note occurred. The most practical thing we noticed was it left a structure behind that our scientists have dubbed a Ninesul chamber. From what we can tell, a brand new type of Ninesul is currently being created within, and they urge us to protect it as best we can. The other thing of note was the message it left behind. Due to its relatively short stay on our planet, we were unable to perfect our understanding of its language, but the intent was received. As such, we thank you, creatures of bone. Though we, your use of me required, we will re probably turn and bring more of our kind with us. Please keep safe. Alright. Time to move further on down. We are annoying the sphere, but we are just passing through. No worries, no worries. We have a decent amount of force built up here in static defenses. Yes. This is good. So, fleet number three has arrived. This is our sniper fleet, so which of these planets would be vulnerable to that? I think we need to take out the alarm post. So, where is it on the planet? Is it far away? Yes. So I think we'll just use some of our snipers. Translocating snipers to be precise. So, we can take more than half this planet's strength, which is just one of the frigates, maybe? Uh, no, a couple of them. One, two, and three. Nineteen strength? That's too much, just two frigates, then. A human resistance cell has engaged the AI. So, let's see. I have the same thought myself. And take out the alarm post, please. All right. Let's take that out. Actually, no. I think it's gonna get loud around the house by now. So I will stop here and continue on later. But for now, thanks everybody for watching. If you stick with this, thank you very much. Until next time, goodbye.